Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make it snow So I just showed you how to make it snow in After Effects and bring that into Vegas and for all your other video editors But let's go ahead and take it a step further and make it snow ourselves in Vegas because not all of us have After Effects and You know, it's easier to do things in Vegas So let's go ahead and bring in some clips I have this lower third that I created. You can get it. The download link is in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make this 10 seconds. Now I'm going to bring in another clip of these trees here. And I have it set up 16 by 9. And I'm going to bring the opacity down just a little bit. So it's kind of nighttime. Alright, so now that we have the scene set up, let's go ahead and make it snow in here. Now this is good for, you know, if you're wanting to create a title scene, background, maybe some credits. Uh, this is going to be good for this. But with this effect, you can also make it snow in your regular videos. Just make sure that the camera's on a tripod, not really handheld. Otherwise it won't look as real as if it were to look on a tripod. Because, you know, snow doesn't really move around with the camera. So I'm going to start off by going and adding some standard noise. To do that, I need to go to Media Generators, go to Noise Texture, grab the standard noise preset, click and drag it down on top of our other clips so that it'll create its own track and be on top of everything. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and start off by changing the color. Color 1, we're going to change this to white. And color 2, let's go ahead and make this transparent. So now you can see it kind of looks like Sienna was doing a little bit more than just standing there. Uh, he might have been smoking some things or I'm not sure what's going on here, but let's go and fix that because we don't want to see a haze around Santa. So let's take a look at the frequency settings here. We have an X and a Y. I'm going to go ahead and bring the X up as well as a Y. Now you can set this however you want. You know, you can kind of make it around 25 if you want. I'm going to go ahead and stick with 25. So we're done with the frequency. Now we're going to skip the offset and go to the noise parameters. Here we can make it look more like snow. So the minimum we can leave this just as is. You know, you can make it a little brighter if you want. But the snow is not really that bright at night. So let's go to the max. The max, we can bring this down to make the snow more into clumps, more into snowflakes. And we can bring the bias down or up to remove even more snowflakes amplitude and you know adjust this to where you need it and we'll just leave the grain amplitude at default 0.5 so now we're done with the noise parameters for now let's open up the offset here we're gonna animate our snow because right now the snow is just static it's not moving at all so in the offset we're going to animate the Y, X, and progress, but we're going to start off with a Y. And the Y is the up and down position of the snow, so we're going to make it move down. Let's click the little stopwatch animate button here, and you can see the animation settings come up. So let's click and drag the cursor all the way to the end of the timeline. Now that that's done, we're going to bring the Y down. Now, you can bring it down depending on how fast you want the snow to move. So I'm going to set it at negative 3.5 and we can preview that. And you can see the snow is moving at a decent speed. Now if you want it to be a blizzard, you want it to be blazing fast, you can bring it all the way to negative 5. That's the max it'll go. But if you want it to go even faster than that, you can just hold down control and increase the speed of the clip. So now let's preview the snow it's moving a lot faster. I'm going to keep it at the normal rate of speed and I'm going to set it back to negative 3.5. Alright, so now that's animated, we can come down here and click the sync cursor to media timeline and when we move around the cursor we'll see what's going on in our video preview window. Alright, so now let's animate the X. Now we want to be gentle with X, otherwise it's going to look like a drug dealer may have lost his products. So uh, here, let's take a look at what I mean. So if we have this at zero, and we move forward, and we set it all the way up, 
Let's preview that. You see, well, I guess you can use it to make the snow moving to the left. If you want the snow to be blowing to the left, you know, blizzard again. But we're gonna adjust this very minor, not too many harsh adjustments. So I'm gonna start at the beginning at zero, and then I'm gonna move on to around the middle, and we're gonna bring the X to around negative, not hardly nothing, negative 263, negative 0.263, and then let's move to the end and bring it up to positive 263. So now when we play this, you might notice that the animation is very harsh. So what we're gonna do to combat that is click on the first keyframe for X, hold down shift, click on the last keyframe, right click and choose smooth fade. That way the snow will move smoothly from left to right or right to left, just like that. So lastly, we're gonna animate the progress now. Let's click on the stopwatch move towards the end and I'm gonna move the progress to around 5.0 and now the progress is what kinda of makes the snow look like it's melting when it falls watch if we play it you'll kinda of see that the snow the shapes are are random and everything is falling nicely now let's say we want the snow to be bigger and more towards the camera we can click the event pan crop bring the snow in then add an event effect, add a Sony defocus, click OK, bring down the radius, and you'll see how the snow is blurring out as if it's out of focus. And you know, that'll give us the effect that the snow is closer to the camera. So if I preview this, you'll see that the snow is a lot closer to the camera and it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default size and I'm going to go ahead and add another standard noise and this can be the little grains of snow in the background. We're going to change the preset to starry night and we're going to change the color one to white not yellow because I'm pretty sure white snow shouldn't be coming from the sky. Yellow snow is acceptable to be on the ground but coming from the sky stay indoors and color two let's change this to transparent so there we have the little grains of snow in the background and we can just simply animate the Y for this go towards the end and move it back this one you don't have to move too much because the snow will move pretty fast now you can see it kinda looks glittery uh, we can also animate the progress here bring that up and you can also adjust the noise parameters so that it's not so intense just like that oh got a phone call sorry about that that was just mother nature calling she doesn't really like the idea of us making snow in sony vegas but i told her just to you know deal with it okay we're making snow no matter what regardless and then i'm pretty sure i heard thunder in the background but uh you know, you got to do what you got to do. So there you have it. Snow in Vegas. Probably the most snow I'll ever see this year. Uh, maybe some next year if we're lucky. Here in Texas where the weather right now is 60 degrees. So I'm planning on going to the store and, you know, just getting some artificial snow. Uh, get on the roof. Throw it off the roof and have fun. Yay, it's snowing. All right, there you have it. You can see the written tutorial over at robertsproductions.net. If you guys make any cool holiday themed videos or projects or any kind of photos, pictures, whatever you do, be sure to post it on the Facebook page. It's nice to see what you guys made from watching my videos. So I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. I need to work on that.